to watch the no liner look. So let me just tell you something really quickly. I do have mascara on that allows this liner to um, not slip off so easily. Um, mascara gives a little bit of texture and girth to your lash and you want that because it's going to allow that lash to really get on there and stay. So what I'm going to do always when I take my liner out, I'm going to mix all that goodie goodness together. And just so you know, when you get this gold liner, you're also going to get um, a new top in a plastic baggie. Take this one out, the one that came with it, throw it out and put the new top in. It has this really cool applicator that's like silicone-like. It's not silicone, but it's silicone-like instead of a brush. We found the brush was getting kind of like chewed up from going in and out of the magnetic liner. So they switched to something that was just a little bit user-friendly, more user-friendly. So I'm going to stir this up pull it up and I'm actually going to like paint this on my my upper lashes my underside of my upper lashes okay kind of like I'm putting mascara on using this little wand but I'm not pulling it all the way through the tips of my lashes I'm just putting it right at the base so we're doing that I won't be too long, I promise. Who is that? Oh, hi, Bax. Get out. So I'm just painting that magnetic liner right on the underside of my lash. Now, be very careful. You definitely want to get extra on the outside and the inside because that's where lashes lift the most. So you definitely want to make sure that you get, you know, enough there. And that probably was a little too much. And then a little bit on the outside, a little bit more on the outside because I forget. Okay, so you see that? There's a difference already. It's starting to make your lashes look thicker, um, which is really nice because that gives it a really nice blend. Um, we're going to do two coats like this. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye. And I, um, It's taking me a little bit of time to like this Tori Bell mascara, I'm not going to lie. Um, Typically, I shy away from anything with fibers. I've had some really bad experiences in the past with fiber mascara. Um, but this one, I'm enjoying, and I find myself reaching for it pretty often. So that's a really good testament, because you guys know I'm so picky about certain things, and mascara is definitely up there. Okay, so I'm going to make sure I have a good coat um, of this on. And like I said, you can totally use this on your eyelid too. I just want like the no liner look today. And people, when I wear my lashes like this, I get comments all the time about how lucky I am to have such pretty natural lashes. And I'm normally like the one going, uh, thanks, they're magnetic. And they can't believe it because so many people are so used to the sandwich magnetic where it was like really hard. You could, you could tell the difference between your lashes and the, and the, and the, um, the falsy that most people steer away from it when you, when they see that they're like, Oh my gosh, what? This is not like that at all. You guys, it's totally different. Very lightweight, very strong magnets. We're going to go in and put the second coat. Stamping it. All right. I'm letting the wand kind of do the job. I want to really make sure that I've, I'm getting a really nice um, base because the star of the show is coming. I know that that sounds crazy, but we're going to make sure that this liner is totally dry before I get a magnet near it because we don't want to create a bond, like a liquid metal bond. You know what I mean? Like I think I've used this analogy before. Have you ever taken like a paper towel or a napkin and it's gotten wet and it's stuck to another, like a piece of book? Um, they like blend together. We are going to use nine to five. Um, I typically have to trim my lashes. When I do this method, I can usually get away with not having to trim them, especially this one because these are kind of on the smaller side this way so they fit my eye a little bit better ladies night i definitely have to trim you can see like how much longer they are edge tip to tip so we're gonna let that dry i'm gonna let my fan do its job what i'm gonna do next is i'm gonna take my lashes out if you've never used my lashes before any false lash you want to hold them up like this 
this side goes here, this side goes here. Now this is a doe-eyed, so actually it wouldn't matter if you flip them because they're, the, they're exact mirror images of each other. Um, but for like the wing lashes, you do need to be a little more careful with that. So like ladies night, you'd always want the inner corner to be the shortest piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these and I'm gonna use these little anchors down here. Anchors are tiny little lash hairs attached to a really strong magnet. And we're gonna put the anchor on first. You always wanna put it up like a C. And I'm gonna look into my mirror and I'm gonna put one in my outer corner first. Hopefully I can do this with you, with you seeing, okay? So it's there, you can't see it because it blended into my lashes. And then I'm gonna do one in the inner corner. So with this, I usually have to cross over and kind of like look away or up. I just have to figure out what works best, okay? And bam, it's there, okay? You can't see it, but I promise you, it is there. It, it just blends in so nicely with your lashes. We're gonna go do the other side. Make sure it's like not like crooked, like I just did. If that does happen, you can just take it right off. And what's happening is it's attracting to the magnetism or the iron oxides in the liner that I painted onto my lashes. Now, you wouldn't want to do this method with our normal classic black liner because that's waterproof and it will actually damage your lashes when you're trying to take it off. It's just so budge proof that the amount of makeup remover and scrubbing that you would need to get this off of your lash would not be uh, very healthy for your eyelashes. So I definitely recommend doing this with this gold Magnitude liner or the Magnetic Mascara, but because the deal is so good, just grab, Just I would just do the 35 bundle with the free liner. It's so worth it. So I'm going to do in the inner corner. And that one kind of slipped down, so I'm going to try to reposition him. Oh, well, she's, she's there, so... Okay, so I only have two anchors on both eyes right now, and that's okay because we're going to go back and add another anchor in the middle once we get these set. I like to make sure that my inner corner is comfortable before I lay down my outer corner. So I'm going to go ahead and you're just going to see it. It just attracted it. Do you see that? We have a gap, and that's just because I haven't put in another anchor there yet. So I'm going to ease it down into my lashes like that. And then I'm going to take an anchor and these are so tightly on, not like in a way where you're like, ow, that hurts. You can feel that they are secure this way. So now I'm going to go ahead and put this in the middle and then I'm going to take my tweezer or my fingertips and just push them together so I don't have any gaps like that. You see that? Look how close it is to my lash line. These are nine to five. I normally don't reach for these because I do prefer a more dramatic lash, um, but this is a very popular style for people to start with. So I figured it'd be a good one to demo for you. And plus this is my first pair of nine to five that I've owned since like over a year ago. So I figured might as well. Now on this side, I'm gonna go ahead and um, And again, I'm just gonna kind of push that liner, that lash down like that. And then I'm gonna put that other anchor in the middle. So I've used a total of six anchors, three on each eye. I actually don't need an anchor over here, but since we're going on the boat, I am a little worried. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that anchor right in the middle. Ah, hold on. All right, so I'm gonna do that. And then again, I'm gonna take the little tweezer and just push them down, just like that. So there's your nine to five. I probably could trim this one or rearrange it a little bit, um, but for the essence of time, I'm not gonna do that. Plus, it doesn't really bother me. If you want them to like appear more up, you can just push them and that's that. They are on, you check it. Like, look how close that is. Like, you can't even tell I'm wearing a fake eyelash. Okay. so. That is that. The sale ends on the 30th um, of this month. So if you're interested in trying lashes, you get your lash and your liner. You buy your lash, you get your gold magnitude liner for free. 
use this video to reference like how to put them on this way. Again, you can put them on your, um, on your lash line too, but look at like how seamless they look. They, I mean, they literally look like I'm wearing extensions. Obsessed. Have a great day guys.